What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time. The Hoxton Trent Chappy Chaps. So I've got this Stone Island Light um, soft shell R jacket in right here, and um, it's really cool actually because the reason why I got this in because there was a young guy that um, he always manages to get first on my videos, man. It's ASVP Nas. He's always getting first on the videos. And he's always like first, and I'm always like man like ASVP Nas. He's not messing around putting his comments first on the videos. And he said, "Mate, can you um, can you get this soft light soft shell R jacket in, please, mate? I would really love you to review it for me." And I said, "You know what? This guy's always making an effort, always supporting old Hoxton, so I'm going to get this jacket in. I'm going to do a review just for him. Obviously, I'm doing it for the rest rest of you guys, but big shout out to ASVP Nas." for always getting first on the comments, man. Nice one, bro, much respect. So this one's for you, okay? So let's have a butchers. But before I do that real quick, one thing I wanna show you really, really quick, just got this in. Well, I got it in about, about three weeks ago, man. I put it on the old Snapchat and it's this right here, guys. I've got this Dolce & Gabbana in right here. Really cool piece. And what is it? It is a cool belt. Um, I think I got it from flannels, it was on at like 90, it went down to 45 and I said you know what, I'm going get to get one in and I love studded belts guys so I got this one in right here and it's absolutely lovely, it's proper leather but then it's got a really nice thick weight to it as well so I absolutely love this piece but yeah one time when I'm doing like a jeans video again I will wear this to show it to you um, properly but yeah just wanted to show you that real quick. So that was a nice little cop that I got there from Flannels, man. I don't usually um, get too much designer belts straight from retailers. I usually cop them used on eBay. In particular, I do like All Saints belts, guys. All Saints belts do really good quality leather, and I, I can usually pick them up for like 15, 20 quid on eBay, and that's what I usually do secondhand. Usually the ones with the studs, so that's that. So anyway, let's get in, man. Let's have a look at this jacket in more detail. It's one of the most requested jackets that I get in this one, the light soft shell R. Um, it's part of the um, Spring Summer 16 collection. As you can see there, we've got the good old badge, and it says light soft shell R. Actually just jumped on the website, and it's, out, it's actually sold out everywhere, guys, this one. Now, there's quite a few different light soft shell R's. This one doesn't have the hem at the bottom. There's usually an elasticated hem at the bottom and there's an elasticated cusp, but this is not that version, guys. This is not that version. This is a little bit different, this one. Oh well, yeah, this one's got a hood on it as well. I haven't really had a chance to look at it yet, but it's got a little hood in there, so you can undo that. I'm not gonna do it, but yeah, you can undo that. It's got a little lightweight hood, just in case it starts raining. So obviously spring, summer, still might experience a little bit of rain in the early part of spring, but yeah, be a nice little jacket to drop in the evening time when the temperature drops a little bit. Um, so because this jacket is actually waterproof and it's actually wind resistant and they're using a free ply performance material which is actually just a mix of um, polyester I believe it's uh, polyester and elastane and um, the, this jacket is meant to be really really durable it almost feels like a it almost feels like a rubber type material on, on the front it's got a really nice kind of elasticated rubber type feel on it so yeah quite nice it's got that little mark on there I don't even know how that got there that's a little bit annoying but yeah looking at it some more we've got some really nice um cotton detailing going alongside the um alongside the inner collar there and if you look on the inside as well it's even got like a mesh type material on the inside so it looks a little bit mesh as you can see gonna try and show you that to you so you can see it a little bit there you go, right there. But if we read the information inside, we can see it always gives you the full details of the jacket. And we can see here, breathable, water resistant, and wind resistant. So when it says breathable, it's basically just saying that the jacket will allow a lot of airflow to go through, so you're not getting too hot in this jacket. But at the same time, it will keep you, keep you slightly warm. So a little bit of technology there. We've got some more of Stern Island's technical stuff there. You can have a little read on that. But yeah, this one is a... Uh, it's quite a nice piece. It was on at 295. I'm telling you guys, I don't really cop too much um, designer bits in the summer. I think they're a little bit expensive for me personally. I usually go nuts over the winter time because I like big, thick jackets. I have actually bought some Montclair um, lightweight jackets. I've got this jacket here, um, this um, Laboron, Laboron, really nice jacket. This one, part of the current spring um, summer collection. Really, really nice. How did I even get that dirty, man? I haven't even worn it yet. That's well annoying. Anyway, so yeah, got this piece here, guys. This is really nice. I'll be doing an um, independent review on that. 
I've got this piece right here, which is a Moncler um, Kenya, I believe. Is it a Kenya? Let's have a look. I can't remember. It's either a Kenya or a Dennis, man. I always forget. Yeah, actually a Dennis in this limited, li limited edition orange right there. So that's a nice little summer drop. And I also got this one right here, guys. This piece right here, I managed to get in as well. So that's really cool. Um, what's the name of this jacket again? I forgot. It's a blaze, guys. There we go, right there. We got the Montclair blaze. So that's that. So yeah, I got myself some little summer drops, but I don't really tend to buy too much stuff over the summertime. It's more like shorts and light vests and stuff and um, trainers. So yeah, that's it. But anyway, moving on back onto the Stone Island. I'll be trying this on the side so you can see it, guys. As usual now, we know, which is a really good thing, is that Stone Island is coming with all the city logos. So we can just get our little phone, um, smartphone, get a QR reader and you can just scan that code. I've done that a few times. This is a size large, it fits me just fine. I'm coming in at around a 41 inch chest. Lots of people ask me, do I need to size up or do I need to, do I need to size down? I'm usually like a, a medium or a large, but I seem to be fine with a large on the Stone Island. It's just a, little just a touch bigger than what I would like. No big deal, just a touch. I'm 41, so for me this sits like a 41, maybe 42. But on the Stone Island website it says it was a 40, so it's a little bit confusing. I don't size up, but some people say they need to size up. In the jumpers and stuff, I, I do find that I need to size up in the jumpers. Guys, that's it for the minute, man. I've got some other items coming, so stay tuned, and I will be doing some more super cool reviews, okay? And if any of you guys wanna see any other items, let me know, okay? So that's it for the minute, man. I'm gonna catch you lot in a bit. Peace out.